In this video today, I'm gonna to go through eight ways you can clean up your music library. So the first way to clean up your music library is getting out of iTunes. If you are a Mac user, an Apple user, whatever, you're gonna end up starting your DJ journey with iTunes. Either someone's gonna to come to you and say, make sure you use iTunes, make sure you use Apple Music. So when I started, I started in iTunes. A DJ told me that it's best to organize your music in iTunes, and he wasn't wrong. It was the best way at the time. But over the years, it has just got worse for organizing it's just an extra thing you need to do when you import new music and now because apple music has been brought in things have changed so the first reason why you should move out of itunes is because the folder structure is awful if you go into the music folder you're going to go into a folder called music then another one called media then you're going to see a bunch of albums and you're going to see an artist name then you're going to see the track and this is very hard to manage and most importantly it's hard to move like if you want to back up your music library on an external hard drive you got to take this whole entire folder with all these folders it's just too long and also say for example you was on itunes and you wanted to move to another computer that had apple music in order to move that itunes library over to the apple music library is headache because you got to do this whole new import thing and most of the time it doesn't work another reason why you should move out of itunes is because you're doing organization in two places so what you'll do is you'll move your music into apple music or itunes and then you start doing some organization in there and then you open up your dj software like serato and then you do more organization in there why not just do it directly in Serato? If you have any reasons why you do it in iTunes, let me know in the comments down below. Another reason why I moved away from Apple Music was because the search feature is terrible. If you use the search feature back in iTunes when it was before Apple Music, it was really good. You type in the name of the song and it will come up with the name of the song, the MP3, and you can find it. The search feature in Apple Music now is dreadful because what it does, it tries to search for the song on Apple Music, the actual streaming service as well, and it just gets, it just gets too complicated. So I decided to move out of iTunes. So if you would like to move out of iTunes, I have got a bunch of videos on how to move out of iTunes. I'm gonna leave it all linked in the description down below. So the first thing you need to do when you're cleaning up your music library is move out of iTunes. So the next way to clean up your music library is making sure that all your music is in one central location. Now, I know a lot of DJs that will have their music on their downloads, their documents, their desktop, their music folder, here, there, and everywhere. And this is really hard to manage because I've had a lot of DJs say to me, how do I back up all my music if it's everywhere? What you need to do is move all those files into one folder. So in the music folder, I just create a folder called All Music and inside there, I have all my music. Now, you can just chuck all your MP3s into there, that's fine, but the better way to do it is organize it by genre crate so if you look on the screen right now you can see that all the folders inside here have afrobeats house dance or etc when it comes to backing up your music library you can back up your music library in multiple ways one way is backing it up with an external ssd so in order to back it up into an ssd you could create a folder on your ssd with today's date and then drag these folders over there now you have a backup also you can use something like google drive that will point to this folder and then what it will do any changes that are made to this folder it will back them up this is the best way to organize your music library because you don't have to worry you don't have to worry if your music is in your downloads and you accidentally delete it all your music is in one central location and is so much easier to manage so if you have all your music on your computer here there and everywhere try and move it into one central location and that will help you clean up your music library now i did mention in the point before the third way to clean up your music library is putting your music into genre folders now it just makes things so much more organized and also say for example you've got a friend and they ask you have you got a house folder have you got a hip hop folder you can literally pick up this folder and send it to them imagine if all your music was here there and everywhere and someone asked you for a hip hop folder what are you going to do right say for example you had a hip-hop party how are you going to organize all your music if you don't know where your hip-hop music is organizing into genre folders is actually the best way to have your music laid out on your computer you have one main folder called all music inside there you have genre folders and then inside those you have all your mp3s then any other organization you should be doing that in your dj software now the next way to clean up your music library and this is going to be inside your dj software is to remove or move any of your old crates that you don't use. Now, the way I do it is I create a folder or a crate in my DJ software called old. And then anything I don't use or I don't need, I'll drag it into the old folder, then I'll close the folder. Now, by doing that, it's something so small, but it's so effective. Because what it will do, it will make your crate section so much cleaner. So if you look at this on the screen right now, this is how it was before. And I guarantee that you'd be scrolling, looking for a certain crate. Now, if you move all your unused crates into the old folder and close it, you're only gonna see the crates that you need. Now, this is a great way to clean up your music library inside your DJ software. So 
I do suggest you do it. Honestly, do it, then let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, the next way to clean up your music library is to have one main crate for all your DJ. Now, the way I do it is I normally have one crate that has the year. So if you see on the screen right now, I have a crate called 2024. Inside here, I have all my crates that I need for any situation. Now, if you look, I've got opening, I've got warm up, I've got main set, I've got all my genre folders, I've got all my scenario folders, whether it's ladies, club classics, wedding, saxophone. I've got all my scenario crates, all my genre crates in this one folder. Now, this is a great way to DJ and a great way to organize because every time you DJ, you literally open up this crate and you know where everything is. After DJing about four or five times, you're gonna know exactly where everything is. So say for example, I wanna go into warm up. I know I can click this 2024 folder and go down to warm up and then all my warm up crates are here. Right? If I wanted to go down to Afrobeats, I all I have to do is scroll down, find Afrobeats, and then here are all my scenario crates for Afrobeats, whether it's green, which is bangers, yellow, which is opening, or orange, which is warm up. Literally, everything is where I need it to be. Now, I guarantee a lot of you DJs will be going into your crates and scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You don't want to do that. Make one main crate and DJ from there every single time. If you are missing a crate, go and create it and put it into this crate structure because I guarantee this will make your life a lot easier when you're DJing because you'll feel so much more organized because you're gonna know where everything is. The next way to clean up your music library is to create smart crates for every single genre in your music library. Now, this is one of the most effective things I have done to my music library. So what you'll do is inside your main crates, you'll create a folder or a crate called genres. And inside there, you're gonna create all the genres that you have in your music library. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna do this in Serato. So if you, if you have a look at the screen right now, go to all audio and then order it by genre. Now, you're gonna see all the different types of genres in your music library. If you scroll all the way down, you're also gonna have some that don't have any genres, and I'll get to that in a minute. So start at the top, you're gonna see a bunch of genres. So create a smart crate for that. Then you're gonna see a bunch of other genres, create all the smart crates for that. But say, for example, you come across something like hip hop, hip hyphen hop and hip hop rap and hip hop R&B. Don't you think it's best to combine them into one genre? Because the thing is, you're gonna have too many genres going on and you're gonna get, and you're gonna get confused. So with these four different hip hops, why don't you condense this into hip hop forward slash rap? That way you don't have to make multiple smart crates, you just have to make one smart crate. So what you need to do is go through all your genres and clean them up. If you've got R&B forward slash hip hop or you've got R&B, R&B forward slash blues, Get rid of the other thing and just have R&B. Determine what the track is and then make sure you select that one genre. Don't have slashes because you're going to get confused and you're not going to be able to make the correct crates. Honestly, this will be the best thing you'll do. Then by the time you get to the bottom, you're going to have a bunch of smart crates and you're going to have some nice cleaned up metadata. Now the tracks that don't have any genres in them, literally go into them and type in no genre and then create a smart crate called no genre. Then at a later date, you can go through all these no genre crates and determine what the genre is. Now I do have a tool that I've developed called Music Library Tools that will get the years and the genres for you. If you check the link in the description down below, you're gonna see how to get that. So now that you created the smart crates, it's now time to clean up the tracks with inside those smart crates. Now you're gonna have folders like house, R&B, hip hop, commercial, dancehall, etc. All the tracks in there, you're probably not gonna play. So it's best to go through these genres one by one and clean up all the tracks. So what I would do is, let's say for example, we're gonna do house. Let's go to the top and order it by number. So every single time we go to organize this folder, it's always in the same order. So it's always gonna be one, two, however many tracks are in there. And the only reason I say that is because you're not gonna be able to do this all in one sitting. If you've got a thousand tracks, you're not gonna be able to do that in one sitting because you're gonna get bored. So literally dedicate like 20 minutes to this do 20 minutes worth and then come back to it tomorrow, but make sure you order it by number so then you know what position you got to. Now the technique that I use is the four color system, which is black, yellow, orange, and green. Green means banger, orange means warm up, yellow means opening, and black means delete. So for every single track inside the genre crate, you're gonna decide whether it's a banger, opening track, warm up, or it's a delete track. It's as simple as that. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to do it all in one sitting, so do about 20 minutes and then come back the next day. Organizing your music library is a long process and you need to realize that. You're not gonna get it done overnight. It's gonna take a long time. There are tools like music library tools which I've developed for you to get you started, but there are that you're gonna have to do yourself in order to get to the finish line. So go through every single track and mark it with the color. Once you've got to the bottom, you now have a bunch of tracks that are bangers, opening, warm up and delete. Now what you need to do is, so this is in Serato, obviously you can mark the tracks by the colors on the left hand side, but 
you, you can't create a smart crate based on the colors. So what you need to do is use another column in Serato in order to make a smart crate for that. So if you pull up the remixer column, this is the column that I use, whatever color is on the color panel, put the name of the color in remixer. So say for example, these tracks at the top here are all green. I'll put green here. Then all these tracks here are orange. I'm gonna put orange in here. So now what you can do is make some new smart crates. You can create house bangers, house opening, house warm up, and house delete. Now, once you've made all these crates, you can literally jump into these crates when you're DJing. So say for example, you're starting a house rave, you're opening a house rave, you can go into your opening house crate and DJ from here. When things start to get going, you can go into your warm up. And then when things are literally the peak of the night, you can go into your bangers. It's literally as simple as that. Now, once you've done all this, you're gonna have a bunch of tracks in the black house. Now, all you need to do with this is move these tracks to a hard drive and then delete them from your computer. Now, what you've done at the end of this is organized all your music and you've also cleaned up your music library as well because you've got rid of all the tracks that you're never gonna play. Another way to clean up your music library, and I feel like not enough DJs do this, is literally cleaning up your columns in your DJ software. When you look at your DJ software, you want to see the information that you want. You want to see the name of the track, the artist, the BPM, maybe the year, maybe the genre, but why do you need to see the album? Remove the columns. So if you right click at the top here, you can get rid of the columns and only have the columns that you want. Now, I honestly think this is something really small, but this is something that is so effective because now you're only gonna see the information that you want to see on the screen. So that was eight ways to clean up your music library. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.